Okay, so um, speaking about my new album and uh, the latest album, what's what what song was the most complicated to write? Yeah, to write. Um, I mean, bo both lyrics was and uh, I I can't remember. Yeah. It would probably be one of um, Midnight Shadows or um, Darkness Arcana, just because they're the longest tracks and a little bit more fiddly because of that. Mm -hmm. And they're about that place in the storyline where I had to like join things together at the last minute. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but, uh, yeah, they were the particularly quite hard just because of the length. Mm -hmm. Could you please uh, tell us a couple of words about the whole concept of the new album? Well, the album's based on the 15th century French nobleman called uh, Gilles de Ray, who was a notorious, obviously afterward, um, child killer, uh, Satanist, alchemist. Basically, he fought alongside Joan of Arc, defended France against the English, so the, the, the king crowned the Dauphin. Um, and then retired, when he retired from the wars, he just sort of crept away from God and became this, this alter, bluebeard kind mm -hmm. of alter ego. Mm -hmm. well, uh, well, uh, well, actually, from my point of view, uh, your lyrics, I mean, a cradle field, the lyrics is probably the most um, Wise and uh, conceptual, um, and technical scene. And uh, I would like to ask you, you know, one question about uh, the the inspiration of you, probably Alistair. Um. Well, okay, okay, the inspiration comes from all kinds of things. Um, more Alistair Crowley than Anton LaVey, because we're English rather than American. But um, we just finished writing a book, which has taken four years. Um, to come to print, there's a lot of work involved in it about the occult and about everything that surrounds it and it uses each of our albums as as like a signpost so one, uh, Dusk and Her Embrace will be about gothicism and gothic music, gothic architecture Cruelty and the Beast will be about uh, serial killers and you know and it's been co-written with um, an occult historian called Gavin Baddeley so mm -hmm. it's uh, and it's got lots of contributions from people like um, um, crime invest FBI crime investigator Robert Resler, people like Marilyn Manson, Tim Burton. I think it's got the last ever interview with Anton LaVey in there as well, and then loads of people like a guy from Dare Side and Tom Morea and Villa Valor and things like that. Are in cinema as well. I mean, Tim Burton you mentioned. Yeah, it's it's about this book's about everything to do with the dark side, you know. So if, from, from you know. Go go dancers, gothic go go dancers, through mm -hmm. to movies and uh, books and historical occult law. There's a whole chapter on black magic. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, uh, consider the, the Uni uh, United Kingdom as a monarchy country. Uh, how the things are going on back uh, home? I mean, with with what? With uh, both music, uh, lyrics, and, and the, the whole stuff of uh, the, the kind of black metal stuff. Um, what, in England? I mean, uh, England is a kind of Catholic and uh, monarchy country. Um, that's the... Uh, the church has no power in England. It's it's a stronger country than that. Um, as for the scene, I mean, we know few, uh, bands from... A few bands from England, but mainly, you know, I know people from Norway and... France and Germany and stuff. I wouldn't really call ourselves part of a city. We never have been, really. Um, maybe bands like Moonspell and uh, Anathema, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, along that ilk. Um, but no, we're kind of loners, I guess. Uh, Emperor we used to tour with them a bit. Um, but other than that, it's, everything's, I think, is going well for, this, for the black metal. In well, I wouldn't even call it that. Um, just for extreme music, because most bands... Um, have gone off and they've done their own thing, enslaved, you know, mortal, Gorgoroth now, Godseed, and um, and it all sounds very different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I mean, you got no any problems back home, yeah, right? Sorry, you got no any problems back home? No, I mean, not at all. Never have. No, 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 like no, that. not at all. Okay. Uh, You've got a couple of uh, duets uh, with uh, Billy Valo and this guy, guys from 69 Eyes. Can, can you please um, tell something about that? 
Uh, it wasn't the guy from the 69 Eyes, it was um, Dirty Harry, who was, um, she was, yeah, the female, the one who sounds like a female Doro Pesh. Um, they were, well, that was on the previous record. We, we also worked with um, <clears throat> Doug, the actor Doug Bradley, who did a narration on the new album and did a narration on Midian and Nymphetamine. Uh, he plays Pinhead in the Hellraiser films. So there was a collaboration, and the other two collaborations just came around because the girl was a friend and, and Villa was a friend, and it was just, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it just thought it was a cool idea. We didn't think it was, um, I thought if we got a death metal singer, it'd be just too, too similar to what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe that the uh, lyrics is a quite important uh, part of the uh, Field. Everything's uh, so important. Yeah, but it's everything. What comes first, and uh, how much l the l lyric is lyrics important? Uh, well, everything's important in our band, from from the visual artwork to the presentation live. You know, everything has to be um, everything has to be top notch. So, um, with that in, with that in mind, okay. With, with that in mind, everything is, is concentrated upon, but the music becomes, it's the paramount importance, and that's what we write first, and then maybe with the lyrics we'll steer the next couple of songs, but um, we get together, we create, and then we sort of build it from there. Mm -hmm. uh, from your point of view, I mean, um, how does the image is important for Black Metal Band? Pardon? Uh, how uh, does the image uh, important uh, um, for, for Mel, Mel, well yeah Mel yeah well I wouldn't go as far we we've, we've got a lot of energy in our music we're very theatrical and that just comes out in you know the way we dress the way we present ourselves in our videos on albums etc yeah so it is important but I wouldn't go as far to say that uh, we were primarily you know a black metal band mm -hmm. I'd say with all kinds of things the greatest on those just to be known as the title of your band, you know, nobody thinks of Iron Maiden as new wave of British heavy metal anymore. It's too long to pronounce, so they just say it's Iron Maiden, and you know where you are with them. So it'd be, it'd be cool just to be known as Cradle of Filth, and people just knew instantly what you were talking about, what kind of band it was, and what the music was like. Mm -hmm. My home, uh, uh, speaking about the whole uh, rock and metal um, scene, I mean, uh, broadcasting and all you know, media, radio and TV. How do things are going on for rock and metal scene? Not so probably. And new bands and well, I think the internet, bands. the internet's helping, and it's kind of, as well as it's taking away from. We all know the problems with you know Napster and all the file sharing and stuff, and obviously that takes money away from musicians, and nobody goes well. So what? But if you take the money away, then they've got no money to make records, and you know, or to spend the time writing them. More importantly, but on the other hand. You know, there's things like YouTube, which can get videos to so many, many more people, and so it's, it's good and bad things about it, about the new technology. Um, I still think magazines sell a lot, so, you know, that hasn't destroyed that. Um, people say computer games, well, you know, Metal will start infiltrating computer games. It started doing that with Guitar Hero. There's a new one with Jack Black coming out, which we're on the soundtrack, and so Dimu and so Satyricon, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember what it's called, it's coming out soon. Um, so, you know, I think metal will always find its way. Okay, well, I'm afraid we'll get... I know, because we we've got to...